to the abyss. I'm Jacqueline and today we're back in the field exploring the rack line. Let's dive in. The rack line, or rack zone, is the area of debris that washes up on a beach during high tide. It mainly consists of different species of seaweed, but will include other types of debris, such as driftwood, shells, and garbage. The different species of seaweed that are found in the rack line will depend on the location of the beach, and the amount of debris that washes up will depend on the location as well as if there's been any recent storms. On this beach here, the rock line mainly consists of eelgrass, which is this long, skinny species here. Other species of seaweed that are commonly found are rockweed, such as this species here, as well as this one. Kelp is another seaweed that can be commonly found, such as this species here. It gets its white color because it's been bleached by the sun and has started to decay. We can also find other organic things, such as feathers and seashells. As well as being a great spot to beachcomb, the rock line also provides some important ecological services. Research has suggested that up to 40% of the invertebrate species found on sandy beaches are supported by the rock line. These species include isopods, amphipods, as well as some beetle and fly species. These invertebrates use the rock line for protection from predators as well as the elements. They feed upon the decaying organic matter found in the rock line. These invertebrates then in turn make up a main part of the diet of many shorebirds, including sparrows and plovers. Another important ecological function of the rock line is that it can provide nutrients to surrounding ecosystems. As the seaweed decays, it can act as a fertilizer, providing needed nutrients, such as nitrogen, to surrounding plants. Lastly, the rock line can play an important role in the creation of sand dunes. The debris of the rock line provides lots of areas for blowing sand to get trapped. This sand can then build up eventually leading to the creation of new sand dunes or the stabilization of existing dunes. As you can see, the rock line performs some important ecological functions. However, on some beaches, they choose to groom the beach and remove the rock line. While this makes it more attractive to beachgoers, it can have some harmful ecological effects. For example, Removing the rock line can reduce the invertebrate population and lead to a reduced bird population. That's it for today's video. Please rack your brain for any in the fields you'd like to see in the future and leave them in the comments down below. Until next time, I will see you later.